Yo, what up? It's your boy Ant Wright. Do me a favor and hit subscribe. I'll be uploading at least four videos per week. Don't want you missing out on future projects. This is your channel as much as mine. So comment below who or what you want me to break down next. Young Gunner. Six seven, two hundred and ten pound Harrison Ingram is the number sixteen player in the country. The number six small forward in the twenty twenty one class via the two four seven composite. He has a top ten of Baylor, Louisville, Memphis, Purdue, Michigan, Tennessee, Stanford, North Carolina. Arkansas, Texas A&M. He'll also look into the G League contract if offered that opportunity. His NBA comp is going to be Tyreek Evans. Uh, played college ball at Memphis and became a first round, uh, first round pick, number four actually, back in 2009. Really nice all around player. Does everything exceptionally well. I know he looks up to guys like Luka Doncic and LeBron James a lot. And you can see that in the way he approaches games. Playing the point forward, distributing, really nice all-around player. And despite being one of the higher ranked players in the country, that doesn't stop him from creating and making his teammates a lot better. Let's talk about his shooting. His release is a bit low, but he's improved his shot over time. I'll give him a B grade. Without improvement in this area, I don't think he would have been a five-star top 25 type of guy. His shooting is one part of his game he's put a lot of work into. He knew with his driving and ability to create off the bounce, he will have to be a more consistent shooter from deep. Here's a great example of his release being a little bit too low. You see how it's like down in front of his face? Thankfully, he's about five feet off the three-point line, giving him enough room uh, so where a contest doesn't really bother him. He's gotten better and he'll continue to put in work. He's shown confidence in knocking down different types of long range shots. Could be from a spot up situation, a relocation after breaking down the defense on the move, or having to break down the defender in front of him to create his own space. Ingram's driving ability and handle is probably the best part of his game. This is why he gets an A minus. He attacks you in different ways. He can slow roast you. He takes his time, he probes, and then he slowly uses his body and gets an easy bucket. Or he can go in full attack mode, going at you fast, full speed, using his 6'7", 210 pound frame and obliterating you. He's always changing speeds, going at the pace he wants to dictate. Remember how big he is. Very dangerous when he has the ball because as good as he is handling and driving, he's just as good at passing and being an unselfish teammate. At this size, with this ability, you're basically unstoppable at the high school level. He can finish with both the left and the right hand. You can't really bait him one way or the other because he'll counter and bait you right back. He can hit you with the tough physical moves. He can also hit you with that finesse. Ingram's athleticism stands at a B grade. He has the potential still for a higher vertical, getting his elbow over the rim and getting faster up and down the court. I know in the opening clip here, he does a windmill in game. Super impressive, a lot of confidence too. But you can see based on where his head is, he's still a bit low. What impresses me most with his athleticism is how quick he is to the ball when there's an offensive rebound off of a missed shot, whether it's his or from a teammate, and how quick he gets out in transition. Due to his timing and size, he high points rebounds and wins a lot of 50-50 balls. Combine that with the high IQ, he will stuff any stat sheet. Dan Dockage. Can't guard me. 